This is station five, which is about adhesion and capillarity. So adhesion is a type of hydrogen bonding where water is going to be bonding to something other than other water molecules. So in this case, it could be bonding to glass. Um, what we're going to be doing, um, there's two parts to this. One involves the graduated cylinder and the other involves um, this glass and some glass slides. But I'm actually going to start with part B, number two first, which is to take a paper strip and I want to just put it into this colored water and I want you to pay attention to what happens to the water level on here as time goes on. So I'm just going to leave it there and continue on to the rest. So for part A, I'm going to start with two dry slides and I'm going to press them together and I'm going to see if they stick and they do kind of stick a little bit. I think that's because they're not 100% dry so I'm going to dry these off much better. Okay, so now they're 100% dry. So if I try to hold them together like this, you'll see they're not going to stick together. I don't want to make it drop onto the, to the lab table so that they would break. But ultimately, they're not sticking together. There's a little bit of static between them, so a little bit of pull there, but otherwise not really sticking very well. So if I then take these two glass slides and I put them into the water and take them out, now, to be able to pull them apart takes a lot more effort. And actually, I can hold this one like that, and it's going to hold the other slide together. That's adhesion. Okay? So that's part A. For part B, we want to look at this graduated cylinder. And if you look at it very closely, you'll see that the surface of the glass, of the water, I mean, actually goes up a little bit along the edges. That's referred to as a meniscus. And I'm actually going to make my screen, my camera, go down so I'm looking right at eye level. And you should be able to see how right below, if I point to it right here, right below the bottom of the water is right there, but then the top of the water is right there. So the bottom is the lower level of the water, that's the bottom of the meniscus. So what that's showing you, if you look at the top, is that the water actually climbs up the side of the graduated cylinder. And at the bottom of the page, you'll see a picture of a graduated cylinder that you'll now need to draw a line to represent what it would look like. The other thing you want to then do is describe what happened to the glass slides when they were dry, and then what happened to the glass slides when they were wet. So that's your data. Then for, um, for the second part, for the analysis, you want to look for evidence of adhesion and cohesion on the glass slides. And then you have a picture here. This is a picture of glass. And then this is water. And what you want to show is how a hydrogen bond might form that would lead to adhesion. So you'll notice these are all negative charges of the oxygen. And then you should label what the charges would be of the water and then where a hydrogen bond would form. Then you want to answer about what happens in the graduated cylinder and why it does. And then the last part has to do with water traveling up paper. So let's take a look at what happened with our water traveling up the paper. You'll see it's now moved up quite a bit from where it was to begin with and it's continually moving up slowly. So the question is how does the water traveling up the paper demonstrate how water may travel upwards away from the roots to deliver water to the parts of the plant? Because in a plant the leaves are the part that do photosynthesis and one of the things that is required for photosynthesis is water. So you want to think about how you would answer that question.